Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is struggling again after smashing up higher towards the um, end of the afternoon there. It sold off quite aggressively towards the end of the day and we're now once again back below 17,075. So um, the potential support level still remains, I guess it's close to 17,000, but it's 16,969 and this level will be keenly watched today. So it looks like we're going to have a retest of, seven, of 17,075, uh, but historically we've had some real struggle. Hammer formation here, almost completely the opposite yesterday be interesting to see how today pans out and we do have a number of economic data releases still due out today looking at the uk 100 struggling again as ever coming up close to support at 65.81 potential support 65.81 next potential support 65.19 technical indicators are beginning to look quite negative at the moment we're not yet oversold uh, but i guess we will be at some point um so we're not quite below the levels in the rsi and the slow to cast it but we will be um shortly almost getting a death cross there on the moving averages uh, a lot of uk supermarkets getting hit hard today which is dragging on the uk 100. so looking at japan 25 it's failed to break up um that much higher obviously we did have this potential resistance level drawn on here um, this is still very much in play, 16,396. Uh, Next potential support, 59,87. Uh, even as dollar yen breaks 110 yen for the first time since 2008, um, we might still have a little bit further to go on dollar yen before things turn around, but dollar index has hit multi-year highs as well. Um, obviously, non-farm payrolls due this Friday, and we actually have ADP private payroll today as well. Potential support, 59,87. So dollar yen edging ever closer to 110 spot 77 which is a, um, the uh, multi-year high on there uh, if we actually go into the weekly interval we should be able to see that that little bit a little bit easier and um, what we are what we can see if I just click max on there as that was a high from 2008 we break above that and then you'll be looking a matter of fact we should probably just add that onto there just now because it's, uh, it's possible that it could become prevalent should we get that break above 110.77 so I'd be close to be 114 spot 74. So it does feel it does feel a little bit overextended right now, but um, you know dollar yen has been going one direction. It does get to a point where that yen weakness become becomes a problem. It's not all just gravy for the um, for the Japanese equities as well. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, uh, I just can't get a break again. Failing to break through resistance at 95 spot 40. Had a horrible, horrible day yesterday, uh, getting quite close to 91 spot 28. So we're firmly in a range right now. You can see with support, resistance, support, resistance, support. So maybe um, this could be quite an interesting trading range depending on your trading styles right here. But you can see quite clearly 95 spot 40 is potential resistance and that 91 spot 28 is potential support. So um, try and play that range. West Texas had its worst quarter in two years and has dropped about 16% for the quarter. So it's, um, it's, it's really felt the pain. Um, but from a technical analysis perspective, some interesting levels there to look at. So gold, not feeling uh, much love from that dollar strength as well. You know, 1180 is the next potential support. We're a fair bit away from there right now. 1218 will be the potential resistance. Um, I don't think this US dollar strength is going anywhere anytime soon, uh, which is just adding extra pressure onto gold. So we should um, continue to see uh, interest moves in gold depending if the fundamentals uh, go the same direction. Obviously, non farm payrolls, if that comes out incredibly strong, that can have a very interesting impact on the price of gold. So euro dollar continued to get smashed as European data um, continues to founder. The macro data out of the eurozone has been quite quite bad, missing expectations. Rate um, cut only a matter of time. Uh, combine that with the US dollar um, interest rate hike potential. Um, lots of fundamental factors hitting this. So the next potential support on uh, euro dollar is probably all the way down at 120. So we are miles away from that right now. We had a real negative day yesterday. Um, I'm probably be looking more at one spot 2661 as potential resistance um, because we're so far away from that potential support. And finishing up with cable, um, cable, uh, you know, we had this sell off on independence, the move back up when the Scots voted no, and we're slowly drifting back down again. Again, that is more US dollar strength than GBP uh, dollar weakness, but the potential support nevertheless remains at one spot 6009 potential resistance one spot 6265 and this is the level that's more interesting as we hug that 21 period SMA economic data wise uh, we still have ADP private payrolls and ISM coming out of the US uh, I've actually set my reoccurring alerts on there which you guys should go ahead and do as well uh, and that means you won't have to go ahead and set those alerts again yourself it will automatically populate on the platform and uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next